What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Body Comp RX YouTube channel. My name is Jake. I'm Asus. And today we're going to be going over the top five glute exercises for at home workouts. So, we made a couple of previous videos talking about the top five worst exercises, and then we made a video about top five best exercises. But those, uh, the video about top five exercises that are best for your glutes had the gym equipment in mind. So this is for everyone who doesn't necessarily have a gym available to them, or if their gym is still closed, or if you just prefer at-home workouts. Uh, but as always, we want to go over the uh, anatomy first, just to make sure that if you didn't check out those other videos, you're still all caught up to speed and un understand that um, the actions of the glutes, so that way these exercises will make a lot more sense as we go, go throughout the list. Yeah, guys. So if you didn't know, your glutes are made up of three different muscles, right? You have your glute minimus, your glute medius, and your glute maximus. These three muscles are responsible for the following movements. They're responsible for hip extension, that is bringing your hips forward. So if you're in a seated position and you're bent over and you want to get back into the upright position, you're going to use your glutes to bring you back into the upright position. Then you also have abduction of the thigh. So if you think about when you're doing a jumping jacks and you're moving, your, bring your legs up away from each other that is hip abduction uh if your third movement it's going to be hip external rotation so if you have your feet pointed forward and you want to rotate them out that is hip external rotation all right so number one we have floor glute bridge these are really good because you are doing a lot of hip extension bring your hips forward off the ground so floor glute bridges are great for your glutes because they're doing exactly what we said right they're bringing your hips from a flex position to an extended position. Now, a couple of cues for this is similar to the uh, barbell hip thrust, which we talked about in our um, top five exercises for glutes with a gym. You just wanna keep your heels underneath your knees. You wanna keep your chin tucked. And then from the bottom, you want to drive your hips up using your glutes. And then you wanna squeeze your glutes all the way through. All right, and at number two, we have banded hip abduction. Banded hip abduction is really great because it does exactly what the glutes want to to do and that is bring your hips away or your thigh away from the midline exactly and the the way that we want to do this is you want to keep your uh, knee in a slightly bent position both of your knees in slightly bent positions and then similar to the cable uh, version of this exercise you just want to think about that outside of your foot um, along the the pinky side the pinky toe side and push all the way up and out and that will help get your abduction done all right, guys, at number three, we have fire hydrants. This one's perfect because it kind of hits two movements, right? You have external rotation and hip abduction. And the way that you want to set up for this one is you want to get into a quadruped position, or if you don't know what that is, basically you're going to be on all fours, uh, hands and knees. You just want to keep that back flat. And then there's going to be a band around your knees and you're just going to lift your knee up out to the side, similar to how you would do um, hip abduction with the long band, like what we just talked about. All right, guys. And at number four, we have side laying clams. This is really perfect because it's hip external rotation. So it really targets your glutes. Yeah. And then the way you want to set up for this one is you're going to be on your side and then you're going to have that band around your knees. I like to keep my heels uh, together during the whole movement. And then you're just really forcing your knees out and away from each other while that side that's laying flat on the ground just stays there. So you're only really moving one knee at a time there. And at number five, we have banded pull-throughs. Banded pull-throughs are perfect because in the starting position, your hips are flexed. And at the ending position, your hips are forward and they are extended. Exactly. This is very similar to the cable pull-through, which we included in the um, five best exercises with a gym. But it's the same exact thing, right? We're just starting in that flex position. You want to kick your butt out. You want That's how you want to start the movement with a slight bend in your knees. And then to get from back to front, you're just going to use your glutes and squeeze all the way through so that way you can get back to that upright position. And at number six, we have a single leg elevated glute bridge. Uh, just like your normal glute bridge, this is perfect because you are really driving with your glutes and bringing your hips forward in that extended position. Perfect. And very similar to the regular glute bridge, you just want to keep your heel uh, under your underneath your knee and then you want to keep that chin tucked you're going to drive your hips from bottom to top using those glutes and you're going to squeeze all the way through to the top all right and at number seven we have quadruped hip extensions this is perfect because it's exactly what it says in its name you're extending your hips and therefore using your glutes exactly and for this one we're going to be in that all fours position once again um, you want to keep those arms nice and straight and then you want to keep that back flat 
um, just to make sure that you're maintaining balance, keeping that back um, nice and healthy. And then you're going to have a band above the knee. And then all you're going to think about here is kicking one leg behind you at a time, like behind and up. That's what you want to think about. And that'll get your hips back into hip extension, therefore using your glutes. All right, guys, thanks for tuning into this, this video going over our top five uh, at-home glute exercises with a couple of honorable mentions. Um, just to kind of recap, we went over the anatomy to make sure that we understand what our glutes are responsible for, as always. So that way, that helped determine our list that we made after the fact, right? If we know what the glutes are responsible for, that makes it really easy to pick exercises that follow that format. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like these kind of videos and you want to see more similar videos, go ahead and like this video. Also, if you haven't checked out our previous videos about glute exercises, go ahead and check those out. All right, guys, until next time. Peace. Peace.